ज्ञान विज्ञान तृप्तात्मा कूटस्थो विजितेन्द्रिय युक्त योगी समलोष्ट्राश्म कांचन भगवदगीता सिक्स पॉइंट एट दिस वॉज स्पीक्स अबाउट हाउ द पर्सन हुज कंट्रोल द माइंड इट वॉज मेन्शन इन द प्रीवियस वॉज चितात्म सो हाउ दैट पर्सन बिकम सिचुएटेड at a quite a high level of perfection so gyana vigyana trupta atma when there is knowledge gyana and vigyana there is realization of that knowledge then trupta atma at that time the person becomes satisfied so trupta atma the soul becomes satisfied now knowledge that i am not the body and i am the soul or knowledge that i am satchitananda that in and of itself is uplifting because we understand that i am not destructible that i am beyond the body's vulnerability and perishability but still this is theoretic but when one understands the one's own identity to be that not just in an intellectual sense but in an experiential sense that is called as a realization so realization means that which is a reality we accept it to be the reality when we accept something to be the reality at that time it becomes a realization so now we may say i have already accepted that i am not the body and the soul yes we may have accepted the intellectual sense but not in the experiential sense we are not experienced ourselves to be the soul or at least not on a regular basis occasionally we may have had something which we may call as spiritual experiences but here we are talking about getting that personal experience so realization means that which is a reality we accept it to be a reality so once we accept as a reality that the soul that i am the satchitanand the soul then we understand that actually i don't need to do anything except live according to my nature to be happy as a soul i am satchitanand and if i just realize that nature and i live according to that nature now the soul is a part of god so living according to the nature of the soul also means living in loving service to god once we do that then trupta atma then satisfaction is a natural result so when there is only gyan without vigyan then there can often be confusion and delusion which is of which is caused by seeming contradictions in knowledge one has and uh, which is caused by the distances between various perceptions of reality which are given in scripture and which are to which are got by various seekers and which seem contradictory so we need vigyan to become trupta we become real we need to become realized then we will become satisfied at the same time we cannot get realization if we don't have any knowledge unless we have some knowledge initially at least theoretically then even if we get the benefit we will not understand the benefit just like if a person is unconscious and is sick the person unconscious person is is given administered the medicine and the person becomes better but because there is no gyan there is no vigyan there is no knowledge oh this medicine is meant to cure me so there is no vigyan oh this medicine has cured me this medicine is good so um, we certainly need to internalize and realize the knowledge that we have but that does not mean that we should minimize the acquisition of knowledge uh, the stress on realization of knowledge does not mean that there has to be a minimization of the acquisition of knowledge no the acquisition of knowledge is foundational to its realization and often acquisition of knowledge is also an impetus for its realization oh there is so much knowledge 
There's so much to learn and I'll learn much better if I realize it. So then we apply, we, it inspires us to apply it also, just like if a medicine has cured many, many people, the more we come to know about how, how many people have been cured by it, the more we feel inspired to take that medicine. So similarly, Jnana Vijnana Tripta Atma the more gyan we have that about how we are the soul, the more philosophically, logically, scripturally we understand it, then the more we feel inspired to realize it in experientially. So jnana vijnana tripta atma, tripta atma will become satisfied by that. And kutastho vijitendriya, kutastho. Kutastho is one who is situated, fixed in knowledge. Kuta stho. Stho is situated. Kuta, it refers to just like a bird, like an eagle, sits high up on the tree and it is almost in the sky, barely touching the, the earth. At, a, at the point where the, from the earth has risen something like a very tall tree. So situated high up on a tower. So like that. The person who has acquired and realized spiritual knowledge is situated above material existence. Although maybe in material existence still, but still is above material existence. Kutastho vijite indriya. Vijite indriya. So a person has conquered the senses. Actually, the senses, if they are uncontrolled, they drag us down to the level of sense gratification. And once they drag us down to sense gratification, then that is succumbing to sense gratification itself an illusion. And because of that, it also fosters a further illusion. So the desire to indulge in the sense gratification is an illusion. The indulgence is an illusion and the indulgence furthers the illusion. So therefore, the person who has acquired knowledge and realization does not fall into this illusion because he knows that this pleasure is actually temporary and illusory. Yuktaityuchate yogi. Such a person is yukta. Now, yukta is a variant of the word yoga. So, yoga, yogi, yukta, they all come from the same root and have similar meaning. Now, now it is a yukta iti uchate yogi. One who is yukta is a yogi. It, this might seem like a tautology. No, one who is a, one who drives is a driver. One who sings is a singer. So one who is engaged in yoga is a yogi. What is the point of this saying something like this? It is, it is a self-evident thing which is not need mentioning also. But Krishna is doing something deeper, deeper over here. That he is saying that one yukta does not just here mean yoga, engaged in yoga. Yukta means in connected, harmonized, linked. Linked with what? Linked with a particular conception of reality. Linked with a particular conception of the world. Which is described in the previous part of this verse. As well as the previous verse. So the person who is situated like this is called as a yogi. Uchyate yogi. And the last part describes... The vision of indifference. Samaloshtra Shmakanchanaha. A person has an equal vision towards gold, towards stone, and towards pebbles. Sama Kanchana is gold. Ashma is stone. And Loshtra is pebbles. So stone, peb no, stone, peb stone pebbles are on one side and Kanchana is on the other side. Stone may have some value because stone can be used for some, for maybe shaped into some tiles or used for some walls. But pebbles are relatively useless. So pebbles are practically the most useless. We just kick them away. Stones are of some use 
and Kanchana, gold is of the greatest value. But uh, the utterly valueless, the usually less valuable and the immensely valuable, all these three are seen equally by the realized person. What is this equal vision? That none of these can give me happiness. I am a soul and as a soul, the soul cannot get happiness from anything material. Only the spiritual can give happiness to the soul. And therefore, the soul who has realized Jnana Vijnana Trupta Atma, who has become situated at the level of the soul, does not become uh, attracted to anything material, knowing that none of the material things can give me any happiness. Of course, a devotee's vision is not being described over here. A devotee also sees Samalokshtrashma Kanchana at one level. Devotee also knows that none of this can give me happiness. But devotee knows that the things of this world can be used in the service of the Lord. And if something has great value in the service of the Lord, the devotee appreciates that value and uses that in the service of the Lord. In fact, Srila Prabhupada, it is described in Lila Amrath that when he was constructing a, a temple in Vrindavan, the cement bags which he had got, you know, he valued them as if they were gold because at that time cement was very difficult to get and it was after great struggle that the devotees got the cement and Prabhupada had a devotee guard the cement at night. The idea is that if something is usable for the service of the Lord then that should be considered immensely valuable. So that devotional vision we will be talking about later in the Gita. At this stage, the emphasis is being stated that a person should be equipoised towards material things entirely so that the person doesn't get attracted and captivated by illusion that this material thing will provide me happiness and therefore I should pursue it. So what is talked about, the equal vision that is talked about for things in this verse will be talked about for people in the next verse which we will discuss in our next talk. Thank you.